Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by Earth Mama's Apothecary and LittleShaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. Today I want to talk to you about forgiving the narcissist in your life. This is something that is very important to a lot of people, and so I wanted to address it on the show today. Forgiveness is a very personal issue. No one can tell you when to forgive, how to forgive, if you should forgive, or anything else. It's completely and totally under your control. Some people don't feel forgiveness is possible in the current stage of their lives, and that's okay. They may feel differently later, or they may not. The important thing is understanding that there's no need to entertain should thinking here. People often needlessly upset themselves with shoulds. I should do this. I should do that. I shouldn't do this. Should according to who? Your family? Society? Random strangers? Nobody's feelings matter in this decision except yours, and it's important to be really honest with yourself about what they are. People have different ideas about forgiveness. It's up to the individual what they believe forgiveness is, but we can say for sure what it isn't. It isn't relieving someone of their responsibility. It isn't pretending the past doesn't exist. It isn't letting someone off easy. Forgiveness is nothing more or less than saying to someone, I'm no longer allowing my anger at you and my hurt over what you have done to control my life. That's it. It sounds cliche, but forgiveness really isn't for the other person. It really is for you. It enables you to move on and let go of things that happened in the past so that you can go forward in your life. You are evicting the narcissist or other abuser out of your mind and not allowing them a place of importance in your life anymore. It doesn't mean the person did nothing wrong. It doesn't mean the past is erased. It doesn't absolve the abuser of their responsibility. It doesn't mean everybody is friends now and all the hurt is forgotten. It doesn't mean you're weak. On the contrary, forgiveness requires strength. It doesn't even mean that you'll ever talk to this person again. It means that you've taken control of your life and you're not going to allow hurt from the past to dictate your present or your future anymore. It's a lot of work carrying anger around. Anger is heavy. It's stressful. We were not meant to feel anger constantly. It's exhausting and it's bad for your health. Many people think that anger is helping them and keeping them strong, and this can be true for short periods of time when action is required, but anger is a crutch. It's actually often a mask for fear. Crutches are for people with a disability or an injury. If someone needs a crutch, it's because they can't stand on their own. You can put the crutch down. You might have needed it in the past, but you no longer do because you're strong enough without it, and you always were. You just needed to see that for yourself. It is true that most people find they can't move on without forgiveness, but it's also true that each person does things in their own time. You don't owe anybody an explanation for your choices here. All too often, we hear people defending their decision to forgive the narcissist or abuser as if they feel like they've done something wrong or that they'll be judged for that. This is a shame. It takes great strength to forgive someone for abusing you, especially someone who isn't sorry or won't even admit it. Forgiveness takes the focus off of the abuser and puts it on you. It takes the focus off of pain and puts it on healing. It takes the focus off of the past and puts it on the present, on the future. Everyone has different things to work through, and there's no specific formula for how things must be done. In the end, no one's required to forgive anybody for anything. There's no law that says you have to forgive somebody. Some things are unforgivable, to be perfectly honest. So if you're not ready to forgive, that's okay. Maybe you never will be. But more than likely, there will come a day when you really do feel less angry, even if that seems impossible to you right now. And if you one day decide you're tired of carrying that burden around... Don't be afraid to lay it down. No one will think any less of you for it. And you might just find that that's the freedom you've been looking for. I hope this clears a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions. So please keep those coming. I take appointments online and over the phone Monday through Friday. So if you're interested in speaking with me, you can visit littleshaman.org and click the book an appointment tab to go ahead and do that. You've been listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day.